Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be setting up your AirTag. So this is a brand new AirTag. And before we get started and activate our tags right here, we're just going to put them on the side. I'm not going to take off everything at the moment. And yes, you have to set up one at a time if you have a pack of four or more. But the first thing you should get is your phone or your tablet. So if you have an iPad, go get it. Or an iPhone, go get it. Because you're going to be setting up with that. So you have to put the AirTag right beside it. And the app that you're going to need, go into your app store. And if you don't already have this app installed, it's called Find My. So just look for it. It's by Apple. So Apple made this app. It used to be called something else before. And just open it up, set it up. And then you guys can go on with the whole setup. So just make sure you have that app because that's the only app that you need for your AirTags to work. So before we keep going, I'm just going to answer a question about how to charge these. Well, you can't charge these. You would have to change the batteries once the battery runs out and you will be getting a notification on your iPad or iPhone saying that you need to change the battery's battery slow. So you guys can go ahead and do that. So there's no charging for these, but you guys can do that for sure. All right, also before we keep going, make sure your iPhone or iPad is updated to the latest iOS and you do need minimum iOS 14 in order to pair these. And just in case, if you want to gift one of these and you already used it for your own iPhone and your own iPad and you paired it that way, you can always unpair them yourself and then gift them to somebody else. But if you ever lose your AirTag and somebody else finds it, well, they can actually try to get in contact with you. But anyways, that's another video and it's actually really good because you will get a notification on your phone if you find an AirTag saying that there's an AirTag near you. And then you guys can go on and try to message the person who this AirTag belongs to. Anyways, if you bought a few AirTags, you have to do one at a time. So we're just going to set up one at a time. So here's the AirTag. All we have to do is just take out the wrapping. And once you take out the wrapping, you're going to notice that you're going to have to pull this. Once you pull this, you activate and your battery will actually work. You guys will hear that. Plus, on your phone or your tablet in this case, you're going to see this. Now, I'm just going to place this right here. Let me just focus in a little bit better. And there we go. So I'm doing this with my iPad just because it's a bigger screen so you guys can see a little bit better. All you have to do is press connect. And you can go ahead and select whichever. You guys can change this later on as well. I'm just going to do luggage for now. Once you do that, it's going to tell you this. Your AirTag's linked to this Apple ID. So go ahead and click Agree down here below. Once you click Agree, it's just going to connect your AirTag. So just have it beside your iPhone or right here, your iPad. Once it connects, you're going to see this. Just press Done. And you are, in fact, done. Now... If you want to place your AirTag right now, you can go ahead and place it on your luggage, your wallet, wherever you want. But you're pretty much set up. And if you want to find your AirTag, all you have to do is pop up that app that I told you, which is called Find My. So here is the app. So once you open up the app, you're going to see this below. It's going to tell you people, devices, items. In this case, this AirTag is an item. And it's going to be called whatever you selected. So I selected luggage, so it's going to give me that name. So let's just tap on it. And once I tap on it, it's going to show me in the map where it is. Right now, it knows that it's with me. But I can also tap on it. And once I do that, I can see this. Play sound. So I can play sound to hear it where it is and identify it, find it. Or just get directions. If I scroll down, I'm going to see lost mode. You can enable that as well. And we can also rename item and remove item. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.